Morning, Andy. What's up? You ready for the world championships? Dude, just got my trailer parked. I'm so pumped. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's finally here. All right, I just ran into Andy Thomas. I'm heading over to get signed in for the hill climbs here. Today's vintage day. I'm really looking forward to this one. The Pro X is ripping. Testing went amazing. The hill's got a ton of snow on it, and uh, it's going to be a good day. Yeah, I don't know what Not today. So I don't know what she's, she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. And do these guys have to do the uh, rules too, right? We're all made it. All right, we're all signed in. Got this sick Jackson Hole little uh, gift bag, racer bag. It's got my wristbands in there. I just put a couple of breakfast burritos in it. Uh, time to go to the trailer, unload the sled, start getting it over here towards the pits. And uh, man, this is where the nerves start kicking in. Relax as much as I can, have as much fun as I can with this one. Uh, it's kind of lightly snowing, the weather's a little bit in and out. Hopefully, we get some visibility today and uh, get that hill up, <laughs> get that sled up the hill nice and fast. Hey, what do you got here, dude? Good what is that thing? Look at that thing. Dang. This thing is brand new. It's pretty fresh it's looking. Floor. Did you steal that from Martin's shop or what? Yeah. We gotta add Ran out of budget for that? No, we just got one more quick pop. Okay. No, this is all our stuff. We're gonna get shit from Martin. Steering post is so rusty you had to put electrical tape on it. Fuck yeah. I like it. We're uh, just on our way to Rider's Beam. I'm a little bit late, so we're gonna sneak in. We're gonna make sure that you have min, E, and pin guard. And we're gonna make sure that you have two ski brakes. And if you don't have any of those, you're not gonna run up the hill. You're done. seeing all the retro stuff getting shuttled up to the pits. There's all sorts of different machines out here. Triples, tube chassis, Pro X's, revs. It's gonna be a stacked class, man. I, uh, I'm gonna have to be on my game for sure. It's no joke. I'm gonna head to the hill here. <laughs> it's uh, helmets on, tethers on when the sled's running in the pits. So we're gonna get onto the shuttle with the four wheelers, head over to the pits and uh, start studying this hill while the juniors and semi pros are on it. And uh, get ready for this vintage mod qualifying today. My man! Back for another year, baby! <laughs> Fairgrounds to the pits, got my homeboy out on front. He was towing us around all year last year. Yo, let's see the hat. <laughs> Oh, 
So we're all staged up in the pits. Uh, let's go check out some of these other retro sleds that are rolling in. There's some really cool iron here. Uh, lots of triples. So three in a row, make her go. Really stoked to see that. I think maybe next year I might have to go a little older on the motor package. That's just a taste of what's here. It's so cool to hear all these loud old mod sleds roll in. Oh, this one by far is going to be the most iconic one here. Check this out. A lot of effort, I mean, just tuning the snowmobile to get it to go up is one thing, riding it to go up is another. So if you guys have been following on social media at all, you'll see like the Jay and Blaine show and the Carl and Steve, you got the two revs staged up here together, it's pretty rad. Let's go check out the rest of my competition. What do you think about this? We left Canada for this. How so many triples. This is my job. I don't even think there's any underwear in this pit. They just fall it off. not wrong. I never thought of it that way.
Jay and Blaine are in for sure. Yeah. No way. Perfect. What has he been in? Tony was 49 and a half. Okay. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I was a bit upset that I did a good job. We're uh, just wrapped up the uh, vintage qualifying. I was sitting on the bubble there for the longest time, and uh, I think I ended up fifth, so it looks like we're going up the big hill tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go and put this tra sled in the trailer, give it a good once over, and then uh, we're going up the top. <laughs> it's the start of the morning here for me. It's Vintage Mod Finals Day today. They're qualifying all the pro stock classes right now. We just did a little bit of work to the Pro X, just kind of bull checked it, a couple of odds and ends, and uh, I'm about to shove it out the door here, head over to the pits, and uh, start getting ready for finals. All loaded up, it's time to head over into the pits now. Got to uh, stage up for vintage mod finals. <laughs> this is so rad. I can't believe we're going to take this old iron up the top of the hill today. I'm actually very excited. Like, the snowmobile feels really good, and uh, I'm actually feeling really good on it. So, it should be a good time. It's either going over the top or it's rolling to the bottom. Did a little gondola lap here. They're just starting to uh, qualify thousand improved stock and uh, a couple more classes, and I'm up. So I'm just trying to get a good look at the hill, and uh, this would be a good view aspect for you guys to watch these guys rip. Looks like Sam. Mm-hmm. 
Everything she got. <laughs> you want to buy a couple lightweight woods? Like Sam? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he has some he's selling. Nice, man. That's a wrap on the vintage mod. Fourth place for the day. Just barely got beat by my buddy Luke Rainey, but uh, man, Jay and Blaine, hats off to those guys. They had their sled working really good. Um, I guess we're just going to come back with more horsepower next year. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> On to uh, mod qualifying tomorrow. So mod 900, mod open, full hill. I can't wait. We'll see you guys tomorrow.